somewhat amused that in order to get on the Catskill here, you have to come in through the exit. Like, not even just through the exit, but through the the right lane of the exit. <laughs> like, you have to go, if there's a truck here, you can't get on the Catskill. Oh, that's funny. Good morning, campers! We are in... Hell, I don't actually know where we are. <laughs> We're in one, one mile ahead, turn right on US 136 West, then turn left. We're in the very northeast tip of Missouri. Uh, near Cahokia. Coca? I don't know. We're right up where um, US 61 turns into Highway 27. That is where we are. Point two miles ahead, turn left on ramp and then merge left on Missouri 27 South. Oh, nice. I just ran my wheels perfectly along the concrete there. Without, uh, without going into the dirt. I'm so proud of myself. So what we wound up doing last night is, uh, since I ran out of, uh, since I was low on hours, I didn't have enough time to get down to the, uh, the brand new Loves in New London, which is, uh, about an hour from here. So we just came, uh, we got to Highway 27 on uh, US 61, and instead of going south, we turned around, came north three miles, and stopped at this Flying J. That was uh, the only really reliable parking place in in range of, uh, of the place we picked up our load last night. Now, it turns out I could have just come straight here, and I didn't realize it. The, uh, the highway north of here is not listed as a, not now Maxwell, it's not listed as an STAA truck route, but that's only because in Missouri they have a 10 mile access rule. So as long as you're within 10 miles of an STAA truck route, unless the road says you specifically can't go on it, you're good. So any, any Missouri truck route within 10 miles of an STAA route is legal for 53 foot trailers with 26 foot tractors. So we would have been just fine if we came straight here. But hey, we know that for the future now because uh, they just they just didn't bother getting that this part of the highway. Oh boy, you've got parts falling off, buddy. <laughs> they just didn't bother getting that part of the highway rated as SDAA since it was entirely within the 10 mile access provision of uh of Highway 61, which was grandfathered into the STAA. So, yeah, fun thing, because uh, 27 is an STAA, or STAA route the second you hit the Iowa border. So you're on you're on it for less than 10 miles before you hit 61 and it's STAA again. It's a beautiful divided highway, just like this, all the way up, all the way up to the Iowa border. Keokuk. Keokuk? Kukuk. I don't know. <laughs> That's the name of the town we came through on our way to or our way into Missouri. I think my battery died. Because I and I think I totally forgot to report natural last night, didn't I? Whoops! Um huh. Maybe this will be like a double miles or two. ahead. Turn left on ramp and then merge left on US 24 West. It'll be a double double header so I can catch up on videos. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, we are now headed into central Missouri. We're going to take US 54, or sorry, we're going to go west of Hannibal. We're going to jump on US 24 to US 63. 63, I think. And that's going to go south through Columbia, Missouri. Columbus, Missouri? I don't know. I always get that name confused. Every state has a Columbus or a Columbia or both. But we're going to go south through that city, past Jefferson City, and then uh, we'll hop on 44 for a little while, and then we'll get on 65 south in Springfield, and that will take us into northern Arkansas, where we will leave the primary highways and take a back road through the Ozarks to Clarksville. And that's going to be interesting, because that road looks terrifying. 1.6 miles ahead, stay on US 24 West as it turns left. Turns left? 
That's a right turn. You goof. Oh wait, no, there's a right turn right in front of me. And then I guess a left turn in a mile. Alright, interesting. Odd that it doesn't seem to know about this right turn, but whatever. This is a uh, Monroe City, I believe. He is a skittish one, isn't he? Two point three miles ahead, stay on US twenty four west as Missouri one fifty one splits off. All right, that's thirty two miles ahead, so I guess we're not doing anything too complicated from here. I certainly don't have to worry about falling behind. <laughs> the Mon Monroe City Visitor Center. I keep wanting to call it Monroe City. It's like, no, that's not how you pronounce Monroe. It's not even close to how you pronounce Monroe.
1.3 miles ahead. Stay on US 54 West as US 63 splits off. Uh, I think that was it there, actually. Forty-one point seven miles ahead. Take ramp to US fifty-four Expressway West. Okay. So forty miles to the next major city. No problem. And we must really be up in the mountains now. I need to, uh, I guess I need to do some reading on Jefferson City and because I, I had no idea there was a giant lake up here. Or why it's the capital if it doesn't have, like, an interstate going to it. How does the state capital not have an interstate? It always baffles me. South Dakota's the same way. Welcome back, folks. We are in Springfield, Missouri. Off to the left. You may be able to see the Wiltrans Terminal, or I guess the Wilson Logistics Terminal. Not sure which of those buildings it is. There it is. There's a Jim Palmer Wiltrans billboard. That's awesome. I didn't know we had that. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's our terminal here in Springfield. It's lovely. But we will not be stopping there today, unfortunately. Oh, they've got some lovely trucks in there right now. Ah, well today we are going 65 south through Springfield and onward. 0.3 miles ahead, take exit 82A to US 65 south. Through Springfield and onward to Arkansas.
1.4 miles ahead. Stay on US 64 West as Arkansas 103 splits off. Ah, we've made it. We are in Clarksville, Arkansas. Oh my gosh, that road was terrible. <laughs> we've done way worse, but not by much. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that was the recommended route. No way. No way. We're never doing that again. No. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what's going, what I'm seeing in my mirrors is there's a motorcycle right behind me that's just weaving back and forth. And I don't, I really don't care. Like, you can weave all you want to, dude. Just don't try and pass me on the right. Oh. All right, so yeah, the battery, it took me so long to get here, the battery didn't even last long enough. So y'all didn't even see the last hour of that drive. Which, it got way better from where you guys left off. Don't worry. That was like, you guys saw the worst of it. No problem there. Though there was one switchback just like five miles ago that was particularly nasty. But uh, other than that, <laughs> we've, we've definitely done worse. But, oh. No, if I ever get this route again, I'm just gonna stay on I'm just going to go I-49. There's no reason to come this way. Maybe, uh, maybe US, US 65 might be a worthwhile version of that. I'd have to check the mileage of 65 versus 49, but I can't imagine it being good. Point three miles ahead. Stay on US 64 West as Arkansas 103 splits off. I thought I was already on 103. Oh well. This is a lovely little town. Oh, and brand spanking new dominoes. Well, that's nifty. I might have to uh, see if they deliver out to the Walmart DC. Night. I think that's my reward. That is definitely, I think, what we might do. God, it, I, I had to pull over in that last series of switchbacks. I, there was a gravel pull-off, and I just absolutely am like, yep, nope, I am I am so tense. My, my knuckles were all cracking, my arms, my neck. 4.3 miles ahead, turn left on Arkansas 109 South. My neck was so unbelievably stiff. Oh my gosh. I cannot possibly convey how stiff my neck was from this drive. It was, it was not cool. Nice and wide. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Ashley, because she's with CalArc now, so she spends a lot more time in Arkansas than I do. I don't know how she can possibly deal with this every single day. <laughs> this is brutal. Hey there, y'all. I forgot to do an outro last night. Hey, y'all. It's actually the next day I forgot to do an outro again. I'm sorry. We made it safely to Clarksville. We are at the Walmart DC. That is my prime trailer way over there. Hooked into door 224 and unloading, hopefully unloading, as we speak. And I'll get this video started when we leave here, I think, for the next day. But as for now, my name's Ellie O'Dare, Azarangel17 on Twitter, Xbox Live, and Steam. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me, and leave comments, and talk to me on Twitter, and things like that, and like buttons. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great day. Oh, we wound up sleeping, like, right after I ended the last clip. There was a truck stop on the left-hand side of the road, and I just parked there for the night. It was three, no, sorry, two and a half miles from the Walmart DC. It's perfect just close enough that I was able to just drive straight here without tripping my clock this morning because uh we only had nine hours in 50 minutes at the truck stop so I had to kind of spoof the clock so I could get that last 10 minutes of my break in and not have to do some stupid nine hour and 50 minute slash two hour split to make this work it was fine it was fine we made it work everything is logged we are here. There's a driver just having a heck of a time getting in this door. He's taking forever. Which is not good for refrigerated cargo. Oh, I think I see the problem. I think someone was in the dock and they had he had to wait for the them to pull the other trailer out. Yeah, I think that was what it was. And that must have just happened because I noticed there's one missing. And he's backing into that slot. So yeah. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. This guy's taking just the right amount of time. <laughs> he didn't back into another trailer. That's the important thing. Anyway, have a great day.